stepped into my life. Such a magic feeling. Yes, we are. Hi friends, welcome to A Wonderful Sheep and welcome to this vlog of my visit to the BTS Map of the Soul Showcase in Seoul. I was lucky to snag a reservation for the second session after missing out on the chaos that was the first week's reservations online. And I knew beforehand that this showcase would mostly be merchandise focused. As you can see on the first floor, there is a display of all the merchandise that's available on the online store as well as a special section for the stuff that's only in the offline store. And if you spent a certain amount of money, you could participate in this lucky draw, which I'll show later. And then you move on to the second floor, which was on and black swan themed. They had sort of an exhibition space and then a photo zone and the staff were super enthusiastic. Do you see this Instagram boyfriend level of commitment to taking a photo for you at a nice angle? That made me laugh. And it was just nice to be in this space that was playing BTS music and music videos and being surrounded by fellow ARMY. Like I said, I wish there was more footage of the boys or photos or behind the scenes information, but it really was, I think, to showcase the merchandise. Although it was super nice to watch the music videos on a big screen. And then you move up to the third floor, which was Dynamite and Tiny Tan themed. I loved the Dynamite section because Dynamite is the song that inducted me into the BTS fandom. So it holds a special place in my heart. and. I love the donut shop and there was the basketball court mural in the stairwell. There was also the whiteboard where the boys left their messages for the fans and I took a moment just to like stand there and read the messages of course but like absorb the fact that I was standing where they had stood just a couple of days earlier. And then outside there was this hallway with army bombs and I saw photos of that space at night. It looks really cool with the army bombs reflected in the window and it looks like a concert atmosphere. Like I said, the staff were super enthusiastic so it was a good experience and you had up to an hour to spend in the space but you really didn't need the full hour to see everything. I did get the water just because I was curious. It's like special ion water and I opened the lucky draw in the subway. I knew they would be random pin badges and I got two black swan themed pin badges. Now for the halls. First, the welcome package when you enter the showcase, they have the ticket and a little informational pamphlet and then this slap bracelet which I haven't had since I was like five so that was fun and then I got the cookies and the chocolates which they packaged separately for you since since they're more fragile the chocolates and the cookies were both not great they tasted exactly as they look they're not super high quality but I mean honestly I got them just for the packaging I really like this on design for this magnetic box and then the tin case as well I really liked so both of these boxes will probably be filled with stationery quite soon. And I mostly bought things that are only available in the offline store. This BTS pen, which was released for the second week, it's just a ballpoint pen, nothing special, but, but it looks nice sticking out of my pencil cup and it doubles as a way to open the BTS lollipops. These are also really pretty and not gonna lie, I definitely got these because of the photos of Jungkook walking out of the pop-up holding a lollipop. I'm curious about the taste, but I don't think I'll be able to eat them. I got the two tumblers, the regular blue tumbler with the member's handwriting.
and then the cold cup tumbler which came with some extra packaging like it came with a straw and also this dust bag which I don't know do people carry tumblers in a dust bag I'm not sure why they included that but it's nice it's more BTS logo marked merchandise take my money big hit <laughs> you can take all my money and I think I got a lot of stuff in retrospect uh, but this is my first time at a, an official BTS event and I'm still coming off the high of discovering them so I think it's okay. As for my online shop purchases, I ended up only getting stationery because two of the things I really wanted, the photo stand and the hanky, sold out while they were still in my cart like minutes after the shop opened, so I learned my lesson. But I did get the black swan and on themed washi tapes. The on washi tape was really interesting. It's like super papery and thin. It felt more papery than tape-like and it didn't feel very adhesive but it, it stuck on fine and it felt high quality so that was interesting. I've never seen washi tape like that before. And I also got the black swan and on theme stickers. I'm gonna have to do a lot of uh, map of the soul journaling catch up because B comes out in 20 days and I'm so excited. They just released two concept clips last night and uh, can't wait. So I know this isn't my usual content per se, but I can't help it. I'm just so excited about BTS right now. So that's why I wanted to share and thank you for watching.